All right, welcome in. And this time we're just going over a little bit of live split comparisons. Um, I just recently found out about this and it's really, really cool. And I've had a few questions about it. And I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to set it up and the differences between um, diff some of the different comparisons. Uh, one of the things that people get uh, kind of mixed up with is the best split times and the sum of your goals. They're two different things and I'll show you uh, quickly just with how I have it set up. So when I start my timer, you'll see this is my PB. So this is what I got in my last PB. If I switch to comparison, this would be my goals. So this split time is showing me that, you know, if I added up all my goals together for Thieves Town, I'd get a 41.43. If I then go to my average, or sorry, this is the best split time. So this is the best split time. So this is telling me that my best pace until Thieves Town and any run that I've ever done is a 42.17. So you'll see that if I added my goals together, 41.43, but my best pace is a 42.17. And it's actually a really, really cool metric to run against. It's how it's what I run against in my last two runs when I got my PB. It also helped me to stay a little bit calm because I wasn't seeing such crazy big numbers. You know, I was, I was technically 28 seconds ahead after uh, a pod, but uh, my best pace ever was only three or four seconds ahead. So I think for me, it was kind of a cool metric to run against, keep me calm and things like that. And then obviously the last that I have set up is average. So that kind of shows you some of the different comparisons. So quickly, um, to set it up, first thing you want to do is have a detailed timer. If you do not have a detailed timer, which is this here, you can just add it in. If you're just using a regular timer, which will be under here, you'll see timer and detail timer. If you're using a regular timer, just delete it. Use a detailed timer. It's it's much better. Um, once you have your detailed timer on there, you can double click on your detailed timer and you can actually change the settings in here. You can adjust the height if you want this to be bigger and the segment time um underneath it is there and basically the detail timer in short is going to show you you know this is going to be the running time of the whole run and this is going to be the running time of each split so it's really nice to have that i use the segment time basically that's all i really ever use i'm not a huge fan of using this in between splits so that's what that does so you want to add that in first and another thing that it does is it's going to display this and it's going to show you like the different comparisons when you go through here as well which is really, really nice. All right, so once you've got that added in, you're gonna to go to your layout and you're gonna to go to your splits and you're gonna make sure that you scroll down here <clears throat> and you're gonna make sure that the comparisons that you want to compare against is under current comparison. So where it says comparison, you want that to be current comparison. Again, under segments, current comparison um splits current comparison the only one that i personally don't do a comparison on is my goals because i want that to stay the same i want my goals to always be um a segment data or segment time so when i'm doing comparisons here you'll see when i change my comparisons these two lines are changing and this is not because I want my golds to always just remain as my golds and I want them always to be comparing against that segment. So I personally never have that changing when I'm doing my comparisons. So that's just a, a little note for how I have mine set up. Okay, so once you have that set up, you're then gonna go to your settings under here. And this is where you can choose the active comparisons. So under here, it says active comparisons. You're gonna hit this and by default, um, best split times is not ticked um, so you will have to tick that and then if there's anything else that you want to have like the latest run um, so that's the last run that you completed um, a balanced PB you can do worse segments medium segments I think you can even do like um, custom ones too you know what whatever was your first 124 what was your first 125 so you can do a bunch of stuff with this I've just got this for now um, I, that's kind of what I like um, for me then once you've got those ticked hit ok and then the last thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this is set to what you want I have mine set to left keyboard and right keyboard the little arrow keys you know the up down left right that's what I use left and right and then once you start or once you've done all that and you push right and left you'll get the different comparisons 
And then when you actually start your run, you'll be able to see the data and what you're actually comparing against. So this is average. This is uh, my personal best. This is against my golds. And this is against best split times. And like I said, it's, it's an awesome thing um, to have set up. Um, I never had it set up until very recently. And it's, it's like a, a new little thing for me. So it, it's been fantastic. Um, and it's just, it's just fun to be able to compare against other things. So hopefully that helps everyone. Peace.